all right guys welcome to another episode of everything business our accounting class principles of accounting right um the last class the last accounting video that was posted um i spoke about balancing of double entry accounts right let me hope that you would have you know gotten the the skills that is that are necessary to balance off double entry accounts right if you don't have if you didn't watch that video please go back and watch that video on how to balance off double entry accounts right the link for that video is posted in the description below all right so just check it out so that you can move on to this topic today i'll be talking about trial balance right trial balance um what is a trial balance now a trial balance is a statement a financial statement that checks the arithmetic accuracy of the double entry accounts right now the double entry accounts are located in what we call the ledgers right for more information about the ledgers you can go and check out my video on um, introduction to accounting where we look at what ledgers are all right so the double entry account the trial balance rather really checks to see if the double entry accounts are correct because in accounting we do not want to make mistakes we do not want to make errors and so the trial balance is what we would call a control system or a check-in system that will check to see if the double entry was entered correctly if the double entry principles were followed um, correctly all right and so if there are errors in the double entry account the trial balance would pick it up right it would pick it up right not all errors the trial balance pick up however but we will talk more about that later on um, in later videos all right so we have learned how to balance off double entry accounts right and you will see my balancing of principles in red you can see them there and this is just a just a simple trial balance that i'll be doing the principle will remain the same um, irrespective of whether it is simple or if it is complex right so the aim here is for you to get the understanding of the basic principle on how to extract as they would call it a trial balance all right now here are our accounts and extracting a trial balance is really simple really really simple right this is how our trial balance would look right it has um three columns basically this column is for you to put your your accounts right and then we have a debit column we have a credit column the debit column is to put the accounts that has a debit balance and when i say the account that has a debit balance um, i simply mean the accounts that the balance brought down is on the debit side so what do i mean when i say an account has a debit balance it means right that the account the balance brought down is on the debit side in that account or for that account similarly if i say an account has a credit balance it means that the balance brought down is on the credit side all right you get that good all right now there are some there are some accounts that normally um, have a debit balance and normally have a credit balance for example asset accounts right most asset accounts um, normally have debit balances right yes um, they normally have debit balances assets account expense accounts normally have debit balances all right um, accounts that normally have credit balances are like our capital account normally have a credit balance right liabilities accounts normally have a credit balance as well and what does that mean it means that the information right or the balance brought down would be on the credit side and therefore the information that you place in the trial balance would be on the credit side all right in csec exams they normally give um trial balance where they they mix up the sides the accounts and they ask you to you know to sort it out so that information is really helpful when doing questions like those if you know accounts that normally have debit balances and accounts that normally have credit balances you are able to quickly spot errors in a trial balance as it relates to um you know where the, the information is right so for example if you see the, the cash account on the credit side in a trial balance then that is that is incorrect it should not be there right because the cash account has to have a debit balance all right one exception is the, the bank account the bank account can actually have a credit balance 
right and that is when you have what is called a bank overdraft now a bank overdraft is a service provided by the bank whereby they allow a customer to withdraw more money than what they have in the bank and if that is the case then the bank account will have a credit balance but it is very rare um, rare cases but that information is very important as well all right so let's go now when you are you are extracting a trial balance the first thing you do when you draw up your trial balance if you are asked to draw it up you put in the heading heading is very important now the name of the person that owns this business is abc right um you put the name of the statement which is trial balance um then you put the date and the date you state the date as as at and in this case because we are we ended at january right so it's the 31st of january 2020 all right so the, the trial balance is is, re is extracted at the end of the period right you know normally it would be december or whenever the accounting period ends all right so let's go now when you are extracting the trial balance you always use the balance brought down of the account so take for example the capital account we would write the capital account which is the name of the account here capital all right so that is the name of the account right um the balance brought down is what we would use to record in the trial balance now the principle is whatever side the balance brought down is on in the account it is the same side you would put it on in the trial balance now let's take a look at the capital account the balance brought down is on what side debit side or credit side did you say credit that is correct so the balance brought down is on the credit side right here it is on the credit side so in the trial balance in the trial balance um what side would you put the information on did you say credit side very good right so you go capital and we put the information on the credit side which is fifty thousand dollars right the same for the bank account well not the same for the bank account the same principle for the bank account now the balance brought down is on the debit side in the bank account therefore in the trial balance we would put the information on the debit side 42,000 very good right the cash account the balance brought down is on the debit side so we would put the information on the debit side in the trial balance it is 4,500 4,500 very good for the purchases account right and the purchases account is also is another type of account that normally has a debit balance so you would always see the purchases account in the debit column right always so purchases right the balance brought down again is on the debit side for 4200 so in the trial balance we would place it on the debit side 4200 wonderful right are you guys getting it now i want you to look at this account s yin right now this account right there is something special about this account it doesn't have a balance because the debit side is equal to the credit side right and any account that don't have a balance then obviously we cannot record it in the trial balance because the trial balance right it tries balances that's what it does tries balances right and if there is no balance to try or to test right then we cannot record it in the trial balance so we leave out accounts like these that don't have um, a balance on it all right so we move on to mega mart account so mega mart is a creditor because we bought goods on them from um by credit and therefore remember what i said about liabilities liabilities accounts normally have a credit balance so therefore mega mart is a liability because they are creditors and so the information is going to be placed on the credit side right that is one way to analyze it and also the balance brought down is also on the credit side so you can write it on the credit side so mega mart 700 dollars all right now that we have finished entering our accounts in the trial balance here comes the moment of truth because in the trial balance 
the principle is that the debit side or the debit column must be equal to the credit column because we are using the double entry principle to, to extract the trial balance. And the double entry principle states that for one transaction, we must have two entries. Therefore, the debit side at all times must be equal to the credit side. If the debit side is not equal to the credit side or if both columns are not equal, then there is a problem in the double entry. That is what it would have meant. It means that there was a problem in entering the double entry accounts. And so what we would have to do is we would have to go back through all our double entry um, accounts to search for the error, right? And when the error is found and corrected, then the trial balance would balance. So let's see if this, would, if this balance, all right? So let us see. So we put our line there because we are going to do our totals. This side adds up. 4,200 plus 4,500 plus 4,000, um, I mean, sorry, 42,000 plus 4,500 plus 4,200 gives us 50,700. Is that what you got? Good. And obviously from the credit side, we can see that the credit side now is 50,700 as well. Both sides are equal. Yes. So that means that our double entry, um, um, our double entry transaction, our double entry accounts were done correctly. And now, because both sides are now equal, we can put a double line beneath them, signifying that we have we close off that trial balance. All right? And that is how you do a trial balance. If you have any questions, feel free to comment in the comment section below. Thank you for choosing Everything Business. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Hit that notification bell so that you never miss uh, an account tutorial class. Tell your friends, tell your family. All right? And in the meantime, walk good. Mm -hmm.